clothing. <laughs> F*** it. If I want to walk around naked, then damn it, I'm gonna walk around naked. Everyone wears clothes, it's kind of hard not to, but when it comes to video games, it's usually one of the last things we think about. Clothes are more than just making sure we don't see this notice on the back of the box. Clothes help add to character design, they let us have our own personality, and above all else, they make us look cool. Exhibit A. Look at them! Clothes have a tremendous effect on people. They can turn you into a badass, a virgin, a gamer, a productive member of society, a virgin. All by just changing what's attached to the outside of your body. They're kind of like turtle shells. Besides, well, all of the above, clothes play a much bigger role in video games. Some clothes give us advantages in battles. Sometimes no clothes make us the strongest character in the entire game. They can add characteristics that we wouldn't think were possible inside of the realm of video games. Do you see these boots? I'm, I mean, yeah, it's just a pair of boots. I don't see What the f is that? Clothing allows us to have an extra asset in our ability to tell a story in a game. Just one extra character can have a complete change just based off of the outfit that they wear. I like fitness. I just woke up. I'm a doctor but look like a martial artist. But most of the time we don't really pay attention to clothing in video games unless it's a meaningful part of the story or, for lack of a better word, sexy. Uh... Clothing is not just used for show in video games. I mean, yeah, we can all sit here and admire the beauty that is Tifa Lockhart, but there are actual applications as far as clothes being a core part of the gameplay. If you're playing Halo and you see somebody wearing this helmet, run. Clothing is a means of an upgrade has been around since games began. How am I supposed to relay to the player that he's stronger? That works. Video games are highly immersive pieces of media that have a million different pieces of information being thrown at you at once. So if games can provide an easy to understand way of knowing what my stats and abilities are through clothing, then I am all for getting decked out in my favorite outfit. And of course, this also lets us know what a character's personality is like. See this nice looking protagonist right here? Boom, now he's an antagonist. First impressions are important for setting the scene. If you're ever in the middle of a cutscene and you see a character that looks like this, run. It's important important to get a grasp of a character from a first glance, but video games are a lot different than the typical movie media and how video game characters go through a lot more story beats. Sometimes you're in space, sometimes you're in a murder mystery, sometimes you're chasing down mafia members covered in goop. But technically this isn't a change of clothes, but I'm still gonna count it because you don't know anything about fashion. If someone walks in and sees you're at a specific part in a game, it's nice to add that bit of immersion to help you draw them into where you're at. All right, Zellum, I'm ready to play some Mario Kart. Hey, buddy. You, you, you ready to play some Mario? Oh, okay, bye. Kirby is the perfect example of this, as technically these are costumes. Let's say you leave the game and come back to it 10 hours later. There's no question on where you left off. You know exactly what ability you had, and you know exactly what that ability does. Now, I personally don't have a problem with going through menus to see what clothes I have and what perks they give me, as long as it's not a clunky mess. But if they can make this more accessible like in Kirby, then Hey, I'm all game for it. But Zalem, I don't care about the stat buffs in Atelier Rise of 2 Lost Legends of the Secret Fairy. Is that the name of this game? I just want to look intimidating. If I'm in a fantasy world or a post-apocalyptic future, I want my character to feel badass. Look, Mom, I'm in the game! Having a character that looks cool is important. Like, come on, you think this is what I want to look like the entire game? It is, but it's more important that your character looks cool. Character customization, making sure that your personality is injected into the game. Being able to jump into a game and pick out a style that matches your own just has a sense of charm to it. Not only do I get to choose how I tackle this game, but I get to choose how I look doing it. I always wanted to be a professional skateboarder, but I'm glad to know I get to customize my clothes to fit my hobbies like skeletons. I have a love-hate relationship with customizing clothes in video games. On one hand, I love that there's so many options and styles that I have the opportunity to choose from. No matter how complex or simple, when you see your character online against others, it feels like it actually represents me. Like I'm actually stranded on this island. But God damn it, some of these customizations are so damn intense. I don't even know where to begin. You're telling me that I can create my whole entire design and wear it as a t-shirt? Quick, let's spend three hours making this design and then make another. And then another and another and another and another. Now it might seem like I'm making fun of this concept and calling it bad. And I'm not. When I see customization at this level, I often find myself spending hours and hours creating the perfect design that by the time I'm done, 
I just don't want to play the game anymore. This is at no fault of the game, but character customization is so in-depth and well-crafted that given the right game, you could theoretically craft anything you can think up in your imagination. Why am I gonna spend four hours creating a character in Soul Calibur when I'm just gonna go back to playing 2B because of a Now Skyrim on the other hand, I don't know why I would customize my character when I'm never gonna see them. Like why do we have end of character designs for games that we're never going to see the close of my character? What? You're telling me there's a third person mode? I spent all of this time, all of this energy putting into this rant, and now you're gonna tell me I could've pressed a button to switch it over? I'm not actually talking to anybody. There's nobody here. But clothing has taken a bit of a different turn in recent years. If I want a t-shirt with my favorite character on it, most of the time I can just make a t-shirt with my favorite character on it. <gasps> the problem is, you know I want this character on a t-shirt, I know I want this character on a t-shirt, and the developers know that I want this character on a t-shirt. So in the grand scheme of things, what does this eventually equate to? Booty. Cosmetics! Similar to clothes, you can't buy clothes here, are add-ons in an online video game that you can pay to wear. I don't actually have a problem with this. If I have the money and I want to pay for it, fine, whatever, just let me wear something my grandma would like. But the problem I see is so many of these are only locked behind paywalls. I don't want to pay to show off my personality. Just let me put on my Bomberman personality and scream at little kids in peace. This is how modern games are looking like now, and honestly, it has its pros and cons. While I do agree that some of these costumes are ridiculously priced and they're an absolutely terrible way to help kids rack up their unsuspecting parents' credit card bill, I don't really have a large problem with costumes in video games. So long as companies do it right. Most of the time these games are free to play and if I'm not paying to play a game, I'm not too upset to throw a couple of dollars to the developers to keep adding interesting costumes and ideas. Now at times they do get excessive, I'm not a big fan of the exclusive items that you have to buy now or else you'll never be able to purchase them again. Which I do realize is a majority of the games out there. But they're simply optional. As much as I love some of these character skins, I don't have to spend money on this. They don't change the way I play the game or give me some sort of competitive edge. They're simply cosmetic and add a little bit of flair to my own self-indulgent personality. So, what do we do about clothing outside of video games? <laughs> Introducing the new Zalem clothing line. Do you want to look like the coolest dude in school? Do you want people to walk by you in the street and go, damn, this dude is bitching because you're not gonna get that here. I call this the Splat T-shirt. It's just the normal logo with a graffiti style design behind it that reminds me of Splatoon. It's the word Splat. The proud owner of We Fit T-shirt. If you look on the back, there's a small text saying, I don't actually own any copies of We Fit, I just like the T-shirt. Also comes with a free copy of We Fit. This one's called French Fry. It's got a ketchup stain on it. Now this one's called the Inception shirt. If you can take a look, there's actually a picture of me explaining the shirt, which includes a picture of me explaining the shirt, which includes, this is one of my favorite t-shirts. This is called the I Hate Plagiarism t-shirt. As you can see, I drew a line on it. So it's mine now. This is a t-shirt of me shooting Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. Another favorite. This is the I Don't Need to Mansplain This t-shirt. Now you see the joke here. But if you call right now, I have a special offer that none of you will be able to turn down. One final t-shirt that is better than all of the rest. Yeah. <laughs>